Hello students, hope you all are well. Today we will study force and pressure. This is chapter number 11 of NCRT book, class 8, science, CBAC based syllabus. We will study about what is force, effects of forces, types of forces, net force, action of two or more forces, Pressure, applications of pressure, do liquids exert pressure, do gases exert pressure, atmospheric pressure, implications of atmospheric pressure. Now children, what is force? You have been studying since your, since your junior classes, a push or pull on an object is called force. So activities like kicking, opening, pulling, closing, hitting etc show application of force. You can see in the picture there is a man who is pushing and in the second part of the picture you can see he is pulling a door. So this is an activity which shows application of force. Force is a measurable quantity. It has a direction. It means that on which, in which direction force is applied like whether force is applied in upward direction or downward direction or towards right or towards left. This is all dealt with this particular quantity. SI unit of force is Newton and it is denoted by capital N. You can see there is a combination of four pictures I know the picture is not that clear but still you can understand in first picture the man is applying force and he is bringing the object from rest to motion similarly we can bring an object from motion to rest it means that by application of force we can stop a moving object in second picture you can see there is a cyclist who is increasing its speed to move faster in third picture, you can see there is a footballer who is kicking the ball and so the direction of the ball is changed. And in last picture, you can see a baker. A baker is kneading dough and this way the shape of the dough is changed. And we can also change the size of an object like when you stretch a rubber band, the shape as well as the size is also changed. So you can conclude effects of force are... Force can make a stationary object move. Force can change the speed and direction of a moving object. Force can even stop a moving object. Force can change the shape and size of an object. Now types of force. You can see contact and non-contact forces. These are the two types of forces. And in contact forces, you can write muscular force, friction and mechanical force. Then you can write gravitational force, electrostatic force and magnetic force are the types of non-contact forces. Students, these pictures will make you clear that why muscular force, friction and mechanical force, these three forces are taken into contact forces category. You can see in first picture muscular force, it is showing muscular force. Uh, it means that whenever the force is applied by the muscles, the force which comes into action is known as muscular force. Second picture is showing you friction which is an opposing force. You know like when we uh, push an object, there is an invisible force which is always acting on an object and tries to stop its motion and that is the force of friction. And in third picture you can see a machine is there like there is a fan a fan has a motor so you can see that when uh, you can say that whenever uh, the force is applied by the machines it is an example of mechanical force so in these three forces what is common yes the common part is that we need physical contact between two objects then these forces come into action so we call them contact forces. Now let us see the pictures which are given at the bottom. First one is electrostatic force. Yes, this is something new which you are studying here. Electrostatic force is a type of force which is uh, acted by a charged particle on another charged or uncharged particle. So you can see there is a balloon and the balloon is rubbed on dry hair and when the 
balloon is rubbed on dry hair it has got some charges and those charges are temporary charges now when bits of paper thin small bits of paper are brought near to the balloon they are being attracted towards it so the this is kind of force which is known as electrostatic force now gravitational force you all are aware of this force all objects in this universe pull each other or attracts each other with a kind of attractive force which is known as gravitational force it is the weakest force and usually you say the force of gravity means when earth is attracting the objects towards it we call it a force of gravity so gravitational force you can see in this picture and it is also working from a distance now the last picture is of magnetic force you have studied about magnets that when there are like poles the like poles of two magnets they repel each other and unlike poles they attract each other and it is like a magnets also attract magnetic materials so when a magnet is applying force on another magnet or on some other magnetic material such kind of force is known as magnetic force but did you notice what is common in these three forces yes the common part is physical contact between two objects is not required so all these three forces come into the category which is known as non contact forces so contact forces physical contact between two objects is required whereas non contact forces physical contact between two objects is not required now net force this is again a new term for you the sum of forces acting on an object is called net force or resultant force you can see in this picture the first one is uh, showing you like 10 newton force is applied on the object towards right hand side and 5 newton is applied towards left hand side so the net force is 5 newton when you uh, add them 10 newton in positive direction and 5 newton in negative direction so 10 minus 5 gives you 5 newton then in second one you can see that 10 newton is applied towards positive direction and at the same time 10 newton means equal amount of force is applied in opposite direction so 10 Uh, newton in plus a uh, positive direction and 10 newton in negative direction so plus 10 and minus 10 gives you zero it means net force acting here is zero and in third picture you can see 10 newton is applied towards right hand uh, side direction whereas 20 newton is applied towards left hand side so the net force is 10 newton so the object will move always in the direction of the greater force so here plus 10 and minus 20 gives you 10 newton now action of two or more forces you can see here in first picture there is a group of people there are two different groups group a and group b and both the groups are trying to pull the rope towards their team and you can see it is very much clear in the picture that both the teams are applying force equal to 300 newton so when equal and opposite forces are applied the net force becomes zero and such forces are known as balanced forces whereas in second picture you can see again there is a group of uh, people and there are two teams and you can see the first team is applying 400 newton force whereas the second team is applying 300 newton force so obviously the uh, the uh, you can see the greater force is being applied towards the left direction so here obviously one of the team will be beated by the second team so, or you can say one of the teams will be a winner so you can say here the forces are unbalanced forces and the net force is non zero now there is a new topic pressure is there any relation between force area and pressure let us see force acting per unit area is called pressure pressure is a measurable quantity si unit of pressure is pascal or newton per meter square and that is why the formula is pressure equals to force divided by area 
now applications of pressure in our daily life like when we uh, cut any vegetable or fruit we use the sharp edge of the knife so a sharp knife is used to cut vegetables rather than a blunt knife because when we have sharper edge it means the area is smaller so when area is a small it will exert more pressure on the vegetable and we can cut the vegetable very easily similarly you all are observing that when you carry your school bag you must have observed that the school bags have wide straps why is that so the reason is that wide straps means greater area so when area is greater so pressure exerted on your shoulders is reduced and you find it comfortable to carry the school bags now do liquids exert pressure yes liquids exert pressure on the walls of the container like you can see in the picture there are uh, three holes three or four holes made in the picture so water is coming out from the holes it is showing that uh, that liquids exert pressure as well as there is another conclusion which we can uh, uh, you can say infer from this picture that is liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth all the three holes are made at the same level and water is coming out in uh, the same manner from all the three holes uh, streams of water uh, it is all covering equal distance so you can say that liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth this is a very important conclusion now a question arises do gases also exert pressure obviously answer is yes like balloon when you blow air into a balloon you will find that uh, when you blow excess of air finally it burst out it means that um, uh, gases also exert pressure on the walls of the container now you can see there is a picture where there is a beaker and three different holes are made and water is filled when water is filled you can see that shallower lowest pressure and deeper highest pressure means when water is coming out streams of water it is all coming out from all the three holes you can see the topmost hole is showing you stream of water which is covering least distance whereas the deepest hole is showing you stream of water covering the largest distance it means pressure in liquids increases with depth and that is why the sea divers they near to they need to uh, wear some special suits when they go for sea diving because as they move deeper and deeper pressure of water over their body increases now this picture is again very very informative picture you can see here there uh, the first glass tube it is uh, empty and there is a rubber balloon attached at the bottom the second picture is showing you that there is some amount of water filled and balloon bulges out in third picture you can see now water is filled but the height of the water column is much greater and bal balloon bulges out more so what is the conclusion the conclusion is pressure exerted by water at the bottom of the container depends on the height of the water column so you will find that in high rise buildings the pressure of water in the higher floors is always less whereas the pressure of water in on the floors which are towards the ground is always greater now atmospheric pressure the pressure exerted by the air around us is called as atmospheric pressure it is measured by using a device called barometer at sea level the atmospheric pressure is 76 cm of mercury column barometer was constructed by evangelista chorsili for the first time now these two pictures are again very much informative you can see the very first picture is showing you a rubber sucker and you know we are using rubber sucker in our daily life and you can see that whenever a rubber sucker is stuck or it is pasted on any glass surface or on wall surface then 
the rubber sucker will allow the air to escape out which is in between the glass surface and the rubber sucker and atmospheric pressure is acting from the outer side so you can see in the picture it is marked very clearly that air at low pressure whereas atmospheric pressure is higher so when the atmospheric pressure is higher it will allow the rubber sucker to be stuck on the glass surface for a longer time now the next picture here you can see there is a glass tumbler which was filled with water at first and then it is inverted uh, sorry uh, we will uh, take a glass tumbler and first we'll fill water and cover it with a cardboard you can take a thick cardboard piece and cover it and then you invert it you will find that the water is not coming out and for some moment you can hold it as it is so why is that so it is so because the atmospheric pressure is pushing the cardboard in upward direction which does not allow water to come out of it so these are the effects of atmospheric pressure thank you students hope you understood well you all are suggested to revise the topics again and we will learn more next time bye